Let's look at how we'll go about finding the readings. So get your pens, your paper, or book, and your calculator ready so that it can be faster. All right. So you have 0, 1, 2, and then 3. Now, um, sometimes you are just able to use your discretion to be able to get it right. Now we're going to solve two questions. This and then the next one. The next one is more complex than this. So you might be able to use your discretion to get this one. But for the next one, that's where the trick I'm going to show you will come in very useful. So there's a simple approach. Now, in order to be able to get the right readings without stress and to be sure that you're always right, what you are going to do is this. You're going to pick two consecutive readings. When I say consecutive, I mean one reading that follows the other that was given in the question. So for example, you can pick zero and then one. Or you can pick one and then two. Or you can pick two and then three. So let's just go with zero and then one. For um, different questions, it could be five, 10 or 5, 6. Yes, you know, they follow in a regular pattern. So this is 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. So you realize that the difference in the indicated readings is just 1, 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. All right. So the next thing you do, um, this is more of like a trick. So there isn't a specific formula for it. The next thing you do is look at the graduations and the spaces between the smaller graduations so this is a smaller reading smaller reading smaller reading smaller reading now the spaces between them here's what i mean so this is one two three four and then five now when you move from one to two two it's going to be the same thing one two three four five now if you're able to get this right you are halfway through Now, this is where the, my formula comes in. Now, what's the formula? The formula is this. Now, I said you should pick two graduations that follow each other or two readings that follow each other. So, zero and then one. Now, the next thing you do is you're going to subtract the smaller one from the bigger one. So, the two readings you have picked which have been indicated in the question is one and zero so subtract the smaller one from the bigger one so it's going to be one minus zero assuming you picked one and two it will be two minus one assuming you pick three and two it will be three minus two so one minus zero over the number of spaces between the smaller um, graduations so the spaces the total number of spaces is five so 1 minus 0 is what? 1 over 5. So 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. Now what does 0 0.2 mean? Or what does this mean? This is telling you that every small reading is 0.2. Every small reading is 0.2. Now let's test it. Now this is 0. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. 0 0.8, 1.0, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, and so on. Now, how do you now use this 0 0.2 that you've had or gotten? So, for V1, if we know that this is 0, 0 0.2, V1 is 0 0.4. Now, this 1, we are solving for V2. So, this 1, this 1.2. Now, if it's between 1 and 1.2, it means that V2 is 1.25 because it's half of it. So this is 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8. So between 1.6 and 1.8, it's 1.65. So that's V3. Now V4, 2, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6. 
so between 2.4 and 2.6 is 2.45 then um, vein 5 with vein 5 I'll have to clear everything and then scroll down for us to see so this is 3 3.2 so in between is 3.05 now with what we have so far you might not be able to um, let's say plot let's say 3.25 on your graph so 3. 3.25 you might not be able to plot 3.25 on your graph so maybe you would have to round it to 3.3 yes so that is it for the first one so you're going to apply the same strategy for the second one okay so you can see that this is more complex now just follow the same approach so here you have 0 1 that's all you have so you are just going to write 1 minus 0 over the spaces between 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so 1 minus 0 over 20 that's 1 over 20 now when you punch it on your calculator you're going to have 0 0.05 so it means that every small um, graduation is 0 0.05 now how can you work this now in order, how do you how can you do the reading now in order to be able to do the reading you need your ruler here what you do is you are going to use your ruler to continue the graduation to know where it's actually falls now i'm using a screen here so i might not get it right okay so let's just assume since you are going to be writing an exam let's just assume that this would go through this point and this will go through this point and this will go through this point and i4 will go through i4 will go through this point and then i5 will go through this point now we know that 1 over 20 is 0 0.05 now how do you read 0 0.05 you are most likely to you know mess things up but there's a way there's a way we know this is 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 now this is quite a lot so you know you are going to move 0 0.05 you have one two three so all you do is multiply 0 0.05 by 3 0 0.05 multiply by 3 you're going to have what 0 0.15 now if it's in between if it's in between um another um, reading what you do is so it's going to be 0 0.155 so if it's going to be 0 0.155 it's actually going to be 0 0.16 then you round so this is 0 0.155 then the next one we're going to start from the beginning again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so 0 0.05 multiply by 7 0 0.35 so 0 0.35 it falls between 2 so you're going to have 0 0.355 so I'm moving on to the third one. So I want to know the number where this falls. So I have to start counting from the beginning. So one, uh, you don't start counting from the zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So 0 0.05 multiplied by 16, I get in 0 0.8. So I3 is 0 0.8. So with I4 and I5, you do the same thing. So with I4 and I5, after counting, you add it to 1. That's the answer you get. You add it to 1 because it continues from 1. So 
this will be 1.05 but you can't do it that way so we're going to have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so 0 0.05 times 6 is 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 plus 1 is 1 1.3 so i4 is 1.3 then i5 so this was a sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. So zero point zero five times ten is zero point five. So zero point five plus one is one point five.